it a good time for you to buy a home in South Florida or should you wait and continue to rent? Are we entering a recession with a housing market correction? As the interest rates went up of almost two points since last year. Here are some of the questions you may ask yourself as many of our clients. While we don't have a crystal ball, here are some facts and experts advice I can share with you as of June 2022. Hi. I'm Marine Labou, your local realtor of Miami and Key Biscayne area at Douglas Sediment, Florida. Some of you who follow my YouTube channel, Miami Real Estate Tips and Trends, know that I like to share data updates so you can make informed decisions for your next real estate move. And here is what we can observe as we are reaching the middle of the year. For the first six months of this year, the market has been defined by rising mortgage rates. The Federal Reserve raised by three quarters of a point its interest rates a few days ago on June 15, 2022, their largest rate increase since 1994. And if we look at the weekly monitors from Freddie Mac, we now have an average 30-year fixed rate at 5.78% in this country, compared to 3.1% going back in December 2021. Does that mean we are facing a housing market correction here in South Florida? Quick answer to that? No, we are not. Why? Well, the definition of a correction of any sort is a decline of 10% or greater in the price of a security asset or financial market. So if you go with the definition of a correction, we are not in a housing market correction. But coming out of two anomaly years in the real estate business, we sure are at a turning point. And let me explain what I mean by that. South Florida is attracting many people relocating from other countries or states who are looking for economic stability, freedom, lower taxes, and a better life. With components like a great weather all year long, affordable good quality schools, private job increase of 7.4% over the year, as Governor DeSantis announced in June 2022, and a major transportation hub to multiple countries. Miami is one of the top destinations of people looking to move to Florida. Due to this attractivity, but also to world's deep change, reshaping around the internet since COVID hit, with people forced and then allowed to work remotely, we are encountering a high demand of housing and lack of inventory. 13% demand increase for single-family homes in Miami over $1 million for the first quarter 2022 versus the first quarter 2019 and a 50% increase for condos in the same price range. Active listings under $1 million in the three county regions formed by Palm Beach, Broward, and Miami-Dade went down of 70% in April 2022, compared to April 21, and 44% for listings above $1 million. As Anna Bozovic from Analytics Company pointed out in her 2022 report that you can download for free in the description box below. Another important thing to note is the increase of cash transactions. For the first quarter 2022, 53% of the transactions in Miami were cash deals. Are we in a bubble and are we going to see prices going down? Experts don't believe the market is in a bubble or a crash is in the cards like during the Great Recession. For the reasons mentioned earlier, the demand of housing is skyrocketing while the supply is going down. Half of the transaction being cash deal, even in the larger amounts over $5 million. Not to mention banks having stricter criteria when lending money, which should prevent of any major financial crash. However, with the Fed raising its interest rate recently, and the market expecting against six rate increases before the end of the year, as you can see from this graph published by Bloomberg, there will be an impact on the economy. Prices have also increased so much those past two years that we now see a stabilization of prices, with houses not selling as fast as they used to two or three months ago. With the shortage of inventory and high demand of people moving to Miami, prices in the next few months may remain high, but we begin to see a plateau in trend. To wrap this up, let me finish with this. As a potential home buyer, you may think that renting is a less risky option than buying. However, when you pay your mortgage, this money goes back into the equity of your home, so you're getting a return on investment as the years go by. Moreover, with a fixed rate loan, the monthly principal and interest payments remain the same for the duration of your loan. Unlike rent prices, 
which can trip to it. And if you have been renting in Miami those past two years, you may certainly have suffered a major rent increase during your last renewal. Finally, the mortgage interest you pay every year can be deducted on the tax return. Here are three good reasons, in addition to those mentioning that the real estate market may not be going down soon in South Florida, why you shouldn't stop looking to purchase a home in Miami for now. I hope you found this video useful. If this is the case, don't hesitate to like it, share it, or add any additional code. And if you have any specific questions about an area or a home search, feel free to reach out to me. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next.